Do you suppose the Queen ever seeks? Violet Bridgerton. Girl, Violet, stop thinking with your coochie. No, that's too hot. That's too hot. That's too hot. Let's let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. Um. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm just the ordinary black girl, but you can call me Destiny because that's what my mama named me. Anyways, today I'm back for another episode of Queen Charlotte. This will be season one, episode five for me. Let me stop acting like it's so complicated. It's only one season, six episodes, that's all. But first, y'all know I like to refresh my memory a little bit about what happened last time before I get into it. But first, I don't think the people who watch me watch The Office also watch me watch Queen Charlotte and Bridgerton. I think those are two different crowds, so I have to give y'all the same speech I gave The Office people. As you can see, I'm sporting glasses. Yes, I am a part of the glasses community. I am a part of the I can't see without my glasses community. And y'all probably like, girl, if you can't see without your glasses, why well, you don't never got them on in your videos? I didn't wear my glasses in my videos because my ring light and I didn't want my ring light reflecting off my glasses the whole video. You see that? Very annoying. Very just too much. So I would watch my videos without my glasses and I just have my laptop right here so I could see what was going on. But like I told the office people, I'm tired of struggling to see. So I'm about to start wearing my glasses and yeah anyways back to queen charlotte but first let me refresh my memory about what happened last time y'all know last ep last episode was the episode i needed i needed that episode that episode i feel like it was written just for me because i needed that episode i know things now that i didn't know before what the little boy said in into the woods when he went to see them giants i know things that i didn't know before <clears throat> too much anyway i know things now that i didn't know before let's let's give it a little run down first of all again i'm apologizing to george i was giving george hell i was giving george hell i was i was coming for george you know you know i gave george a lot i gave george a lot i did i did but like i said i didn't know like i could only react to what was being put in front of me and what was put how he was acting before i knew about what happened in episode four it was like boy what you got going on but now now i know i know what george has going on i know i know <laughs> i know now so basically is this how you say it? basically that sounds so wrong basically basically ba whatever anyway now okay i found out i feel like princess whatever george woman name is she was putting off george's marriage because she knew about his like i'm gonna say mental issues she knew about his mental issues but you know at the beginning of the last episode she was like we can't keep putting this off like you got to get on this throne you got to get into this world your family busy you got to do your thing so she's like we found you a wife so now i know why they picked charlotte because she was from all the way over there and there was no chance she'll know about what the king got going on so i get it now i was wrong you know it wasn't because she was black and she can carry more kids mm -hmm. I can admit that, you know, I was, I was thinking all outside the box, but you know, that's the point, the thing outside the box, I was thinking outside the box, you know, I was thinking outside the box. Anyway, now I know, I won't ask that question anymore. I know why they picked Charlie now. I, I know, I know now. So, basically, I found out that George wanted to be right for Charlie. Uh, George wanted to be right for Charlie. Like, basically, he wanted to get his mind right for Charlie. He wanted to be a sane man for her. So, he was doing this whole time i'm thinking he just an asshole and not going to see her no he was at the other house in what it is oh quit whatever he was at the other house getting tortured getting leeched getting leeches put on him getting tied to a chair this doctor telling him he need to be submissive the reason he can't control his mind is because he ain't never had to he ain't never had to take orders from nobody else man trying to really just do george in just really doing george bad whole time whole time but i'm glad i know that now and i'm going to get off george's case because i i know what he's going through now i i know i know i know now so i found that out so i'm glad like i said i'm very grateful for episode four it really put things into perspective now i know and at the end of the episode we got back to where charlotte found out about his mental illness you know he was screaming at the sky his venus come take him butt ass naked so she go to his mama she like 
now I'm putting in my words. She's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. Y'all got me in the house with this crazy ass man and y'all knew he was crazy? And y'all just got me in this house, you know? I'm in the house. One day I can put, fr I, could, I can spread butter on my muffin real good. Have you ever tried putting butter on a muffin with a dull knife? That's basically what she said now. She said one day the knife was sharp, then it was dull, then the windows was locked. But I ain't think nothing of it. But now I know y'all got me in the house with a crazy ass man. That's basically what she said now. That's basically what she said. That's that's basically what she said. Mm-hmm. 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 But sadly, George overheard that conversation. So now he didn't want to tell this man to scrap him back in. You know, at first he was fighting it. He was like, I don't need you. I got a wife. She's grown. We can get through this together. I got friends. I got family. We can. I don't need this treatment you giving me, sir. But ever since he heard what Charlotte said, he went back and he said, scrap me back up. So that's basically where I left off at. But anyway, I've done too much talking and we about to get into this episode. Okay. Yeah, this episode is oop, turn it up a little bit more. This episode is called Gardens and Blooms. Let's see. It's a lot going on. And this one a lot longer than the other episodes. So I know it's about to be a lot of shit going on in this. So let's just let's just get into it. I'm scared. Okay, you better get it, girl. Dearest. Okay, lady, what's the name here? Penelope. An army of eligible ladies have arrived at her majesty's she doorstep. She's trying to get her kids married. She's trying to get her heir. I can't believe she got all these kids and ain't none one of them got a legitimate child. That's crazy. That's crazy. One wonders whether impending connubial bliss has shone a light on Her Majesty's own isolation. Mm. I sometimes think our queen must be the loneliest. She do seem pretty lonely. Like one of those, all those people around you situations, but no really, well, nobody really for you. Do you think she's a I beg your pardon? Companionship. Footman, horseman, guardsman, yet no man. Mm. No gentleman. Yet in a very real way, she is as much a widow as you and I. Mm. Do you suppose the Queen ever seeks? Violet Bridgerton. Girl, Violet, stop thinking with your coochie. That it? No, no, I would never. What you was asking? You should not think such things. You pay mind to your own. Girl. <laughs> Violet, you thirty little girl, you slut, you seeking to be bitty? Lady Bridgerton, be horny. Ew. Lady Bridgerton, please, bitch. Lady Bridgerton, please. I already seen your daughter in such a compromising position. I don't want to see you there too. Like if you gonna do that, do that off camera, not with me watching. You pretty and all, but no. You're somebody's mother. Who's that wearing? The girls be in the bed wanting and needing. I get it. I get it. I get it. I understand. I mean, they could hop them up. Never mind. Am I about to say something? Too crazy. I think she just reminiscing. Wait, 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 wait. That was somebody else, wasn't it? Who she was in the bed with? That was a white man. Oh, take me back. I was wondering, did she get her groove thing on outside of him? <sighs> okay, let's see what's going on with back in day, the back in day them. Oh, that's George and again torture because he think that's going to help him. Oh, Lord George. Okay, who are we burying? I bet we're burying Lord Denver? Yes. Mm. He come and thought, oh God, as it is in heaven. Amen. Well, I'd quit walking. I, mean, I know that's not what they're trying to tell me. I know she wasn't having an affair with Lord, Lord Bridgerton. Do not tell me she was having an affair with Violet's dad. Do not even put that into the atmosphere. Do not tell me that right now. I'm not even going to try to believe it. I'm, you know what? I'm jumping to conclusions. I'm doing too much. This is another time where I'm jumping outside the box. Do not tell me those with those wandering eyes wandering. You know, Nanny said the children were right to sleep. Okay, so those are kids at that funeral. They did not seem to feel much upset at the death of their father. Which is not a surprise. I won't be able to either. Lord Danbury was a stranger to them. Mm. He only saw them a few times a month. 
I can wake Charlie and have him light a fire. And I'm sure Cook can prepare a cold plate or early breakfast. Breakfast? It is four o'clock in the morning, my lady. Mm. I did not realize. Probably don't know do the stuff now. She ain't got that man up on her all the time. I was three when my parents promised me when a deal was struck. Three years old. So I was raised to be his wife. I was taught my favorite color was gold because his favorite color was gold. What the fuck? I was told my favorite foods were his favorite foods. And as many times as I dreamed and imagined and hoped and planned, I never thought what it would actually be like to have him be gone. Mm. I was raised for him and now I am this fucking insane. New. But now you can be who you want to be. I'm brand new. Yes, yes. And I do not even know how to breathe air. He does not exhale. Mm. I wish I could hug her. Hug her for me, girl. Damn, you just standing up. I just want to hug her so bad. <sighs> Virtual hug. Three? Raised to be his wife? What do you know anything about being anybody's wife at three years? What? Have them harvested. Given to the poor. Right away, Your Majesty. Okay, what are we doing about her and George? What's happening? Uh, the Dowager Princess. What does she want? She arrives with Lord Bute. I am not receiving visitors. Mm. They have brought with them the royal physician. I absolutely refuse to see the physician. Oh my god. Can they tell she's pregnant like that? You are taking a long time. Oh my god. I've been in there be screaming. She is with child. It is done. Are you certain? So she is? Charlotte is pregnant. Her Majesty is quite far along, making magnificent progress. Thank God. Can we announce? Not until the quickening. What when was the quickening? Be? Before the month is done. What's the quickening? What is that? I will have my things moved over to Buckingham House at once. Uh, what? What? You carry the crown. Your safety is most important. I shall not leave you alone oh. for a moment. We shall wait for the future king's arrival together. <laughs> what if it's a girl? What do you mean, future king? I guess they should be having that type of hope. Mm. I didn't even know they could speak out if somebody was pregnant like that back in the day. I thought they just had to wait till she missed her period, like Daphne was doing. But this older than Daphne and them. And them. She's probably writing her brother or something. Cause that's the only family I know her parents did. So all she got is a brother, right? They Primsley. not talking now? Primsley, please. The, Probably cause well, he didn't know about the king. You know I yeah, could he not. He feel like he should have told him about you know the that king. My, I'm not able. Much as I would love to stand here and help you find your words, I have my own duties to attend to. Mm. Deliver the letter to his majesty. Mm. Okay, she writing them letters. So she's talking to him. Oh, okay. He's not coming around again cause he's getting tortured to try to get himself sane for her so he's probably staying away again right you have been told not to bother dr munro when Shut he is working up. i have a letter for his majesty from his wife exactly let me in there and see what the fuck they doing in that boy now probably not chopping on him or something oh my lord george george they get majesty, but they got him in the ice oh he looked more insane than he normally do no you're not ready. George. George. Put it with the others. Come on, man. So are you? Do you require assistance? George. Oh my God, how long has it been? I, they ain't told me how long has it been since the last episode. Send them away. Yes, my lady, only it is Lord and Lady Smythe Smith. Who? The Smythe Smiths, here, live the Duke of Hastings and oh. several other families from our side. We are devastated for you, for your loss. Look at all those beautiful black people. We need to know what happens now. What happens now? Yeah, what? What have you heard? What do you become? What do we become? The oh, Duke they worried just... about their positions. <laughs> Didn't nobody really care about that man. Surely the palace has given you some word on procedure. On what will happen next? Oh Lord, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to accept these wigs now. 
Some of them look pretty decent, but my boy over there look crazy. You are asking me if my four-year-old son is now Lord Danbury? We need to know whether the laws of succession on their side will apply to our side. Oh, uh-huh. I get, I get what they're asking. Inherit the title? I get what they're asking. We could lose it all in a generation. Mm. Yes. What you lose, we lose. You set the precedent for us all. Will you remain Lady Danbury, or are you just Mrs. Danbury? Oh. Would it be so bad, my lady, losing the title? Yes, yes Coral. Good. They all showed up here looking for answers. Depending on me, were you giving them hope? Taste of rare air. Yes, girl. Do you really think a solicitor will come to see a woman? A black woman, I did. I shall simply sign the letter Danbury. I just hope he assumes I am a man with poor etiquette. You are sure he is receiving the letters? Oh, I am delivering them. Look majesty. on her. Oh my God, she's beautiful. Is she still here? Exactly. Why she want to have her ass up in that house? She get on, she get on my fucking nerves. I can't stand George's mama. It has been quite some time. Your majesty. What I mean to say is, are you almost finished? Oh, they're drawing her. We still need the king. It is a wedding portrait by his majesty's request. Sir, you can do a little more better. His Majesty is quite thoughtful. Do she even? Well, I think she know what, exactly what's going on with her son in there at this point. And she's probably trying to see if it's going to fix him too. My skin is too light. Exactly. Make it darker. Paint my skin darker. As it actually is. No. Bitch! Paint her skin lighter. Pale. I can't stand that hoe right there. I'm telling you, that's a grimy ass. Look at her, look at her face. You could just... I'm not gonna let her get to me. I'm not gonna let her get to me. I'm, I'm not gonna let her... What? No. 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 Bramsley? Being nosy? I do want to know what to say, though. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Talk to me, Bramsley. Go on, tell me something, Bramsley. Let me know. What it say? Brims, if you get to be nosy, I want to be nosy too. Tell me what it say. That's foul. That's foul, Brims. I thought we was better than that. There is a letter. As I said. There is a letter, but not for mm. the king. She's writing to Duke Adolphus. What? Who? The queen's brother in Germany. Oh, she's writing a brother now? Yes, I ask you. This is... She wants to leave. Mm. George needs to go back, man. But then again, I don't know. This is a this is a mess. This is a mess. Honestly. He will take action, come back to her. All will be solved. So he can't even get in there to tell him. And I feel like even if he do tell him, he's still gonna be like, no, I need to fix myself for her. So I don't know. Everything is in danger. You keep secrets. Mm. His loyalties are to the king. I am loyal to the throne no matter who sees I'm doing a lot. But his loyalties are to the king. Walking? What? It's like some tramp or poet. Like a, you gotta be a tramp to go for a walk? Wow. Yeah, she is. I would not think those quite the best shoes for the fields. What the fuck he doing now? No, because I really feel like they trying to set up a love affair between Lady Danbury and what's the lady, lady Bridgerton daddy. Am I trespassing? I will not set the hounds on you. That, that ain't funny. That, that, that just took me back a, a hundred years. Set the hounds out, boy. <sighs> picturesque instead of insane and lady ledger would make less of a fuss and if they i understand i like i said i want lady danbury to have her some love outside of lord danbury but why i gotta be with an old ass white man she deserves somebody around her age like i'm not gonna feel this at all if this is what they're trying to give me i will see you here tomorrow same time you will wear better shoes they about to start having an affair Oh my god. Out of all people to have an affair with. 
Make a hug. She sprung already, girl. And you know what? She ain't never had no actual, no, she ain't had nobody actually lay no game on her. Like she said, she been destined to marry Lord Damage since she was, since she was three. So when she became of, I guess, marrying age, she was already his wife. So she ain't never had nobody run no game down on her. She'll fall for anything. This is Princess Adelaide. Pleased to meet your Royal Highness. And Edward, this is Princess Victoria. Pleasure to meet you, Royal Highness. My sons have been ever so eager to meet you both. Mm, they don't seem that eager to me. <laughs> Who are they? You're no wives. You're betrothed. Betrothed? Women gotta do it in this world all the time. Just marry. They will be your wives. Did you say next week? Mother, you cannot be serious. Can she do, we do that, though? Well, she is the queen, so I guess she can. She is hot and bothered. Lady Bridgerton, girl, pull yourself together. Quite provocative. Yeah, it's quite. Oh my God. Right. Well, mm. I ain't seen that she came. well with you. Take care of herself. I'm just saying, I don't want to see it. Anthony is on his honeymoon. <laughs> we came. Gregory has grown what seems worth twice his height in a month. <laughs> Eloise is in some kind of squabble with Penelope, and you know how close Aww, those two are. Oh, they are. They are. Oh, I can't wait to see them again. I miss them. I miss them. I do. I miss them. I'm ready for season three. I miss them. There is nothing you cannot share with me. I do not know what you mean. I do not know what I mean either. You want her to tell you that her, she hot and bothered? It uh, seems my garden is in bloom. <laughs> A luscious garden with oh, many varieties of flowers. God. And when he died, the garden died. And I did not even think of the garden. I did not want the garden. But lately, without warning, the garden has begun to bloom. Sunlight. Air. Touch. Oh, lady. Bridgerton, I didn't need to know this about you. Blooming out of control. Oh, Violet. I am becoming... Dangerous, I get that. I'm sure. I almost asked a footman to lie on top of me today. <laughs> oh my god. They would. No, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. I'm not gonna say that. Cause no, no, I'm not gonna say that. That'd be a little too. No, we're not seeing it. Riding boots. Much better. Hmm. I mean, it's kind of like, yeah, he cheating on his wife. I love it, but. I feel like she could have got somebody else, but... But I see what is not there, just as plainly. I fail to understand you. Look at her. I don't know. Is she being seductive right now? What is there and not there together? What's gone is not gone at all. You know what? She probably hot and bothered for him because she ain't never had nobody actually take the time to try to get her hot and bothered. She just had a man climb on top of her and do his business. So, of course, that thing hot and ready for anybody who's going to be sitting down and taking their time to get it formed up. She is falling for this man. Which ones are starlings again? Maybe they don't even have no affair. Maybe she just wanted it. Because, like I said, Paul. she ain't never had nobody lay that game down on Disney. her. So, of course, she falling for she that. Was. Lord. Dead at all things. I confess I cannot. <laughs> Lord Ledger. They out here caking. Girl, I guess, girl, get yours. I can't be mad at her. We need to discuss the flowers for the wedding. That will not be necessary, Mother, as there will not be a wedding. You forgot something the other day. Our eldest brother, George. The man, according to the Royal Marriages Act of Parliament, He's with the sole authority to approve any marriage within the royal house. Including ours. He don't even seem like he gonna stand on no business. Look at his face. Now, George, you be a good boy and approve your brother's marriages. Exactly. Come on. Come on. You gonna tell your mama no, boy? You gonna tell your mama no? I approve. 
Yay. Nee. Nee. Y'all tried to go behind her back. Nee, what? Nee. Brimsy must have sunk the letter off then her brother came. But her brother probably ain't gonna want her to leave because he traded something with them for her. Why would she write her she? brother and tell I believe him she, was with her she wants to leave anyway? Right outside rooms. Because her brother, I, her brother not in her corner. To me, he ain't been since I've been watching it. And he probably gonna be like, nah, you gotta stay. It was a hard crossing. Oh. I still cannot keep food down. Oh, that he had to get on the ship. Okay, that's why. Your Majesty. <laughs> Such happy news. When the fuck did she start showing? How long has it been? I want to go home, Adolphus. Home? Mm -hmm. Nonsense. It's, it's been months, months, months. When we came here, you told me you could not say no to the British Empire, and now I am their queen. You are emotional. Girl, he cannot take you home. <laughs> Girl, he is not about to take you home. Inside you ripens the fruit of England yes, and until that fruit is ripe your body baby. is but a a tree a tree yeah girl you don't belong to you no more Perhaps. I only want to be home you can't with go my home, own family Charlotte. with you I am not your I still, family now. She st it seems like she still ain't understanding the magnitude of what's going on girl you can't just simply leave unless she tell them that he insane and she, I don't, she ain't gonna do that she ain't gonna do that I negotiated your engagement brilliantly. I was able to forge an alliance between our province and here. An alliance? That is why you married me off to these people. It was good for everyone. I knew it was something. I knew it was something. Charlotte, our fates are tied. It's like Charlotte ain't been nothing but a piece of a pun to everybody. Damn, you can hear him screaming all the way out there? So, this been going on since then. Last time we saw them, she wasn't showing, but she was pregnant. She's showing, so she got to be about four, five, six months pregnant. So, it's, he been over there for about five, six months just getting tortured? Your husband? I would not place him in the category of things my life lacks. Do you think me a monster for saying that? No. You think me free? I thought I would be. But only now. He's dead and she don't know to do it herself. Rambles are there. Rambles are there. I am there. Are you? Ew. It's been a fine day. Thank you. But at least you know what? Let me stop. At least she is what she wants. It's what she want at this point, so shout out to my girl getting something she want. You never felt that before, have you, girl? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you were messing with Lady Bridgerton Daddy? I'm just trying to get the age difference on her and Violet. What, they probably about, what? <laughs> I don't know. Four, five years apart, then? A gentleman. He says he is the solicitor, looking for the lady who does not sign her full name. Normally, these would pass to the next Lord Danbury. I do have a son, you know. But nowhere was it clarified whether these new peerages pass at all. Mm. They doing all this great experiment shit and they got all their ducks in a row. When your husband accepted the new estate, he used a sizable amount of his holdings to support your new life. Tailors, club payments, horses, extra staff. My husband had one of the greatest fortunes in all the continent. I'm afraid your husband may have exaggerated his wealth to you. What? I am to be left what? With nothing? Penniless. Homeless. After enduring all that for... Not him lying about being, oh. And you know, look at him. Of course he had to lie about it. Let it out, girl. I'd be mad, too. It is just so lovely of you to pay your sister a visit. When I married. Poor Charlotte. Charlotte is going through it. Charlotte, you are fortunate. She pregnant. 
Men ain't been around in months. Stuck. She don't belong to her no more. Her, she is literally just a vessel for some royal baby. They don't care about her. They just want her to have that baby. Will His Majesty be joining us? His Majesty has business. I write him letters. That he ain't answering. <laughs> you have done your duty. You have conceived an heir. Now you are free. As for my son, you never even have to see him again if Dude. you do not want. What the fuck? At least until we need another This bitch smiling about it. And bitch, doesn't that sound crazy as fuck to you? Does, it, does that not sound Looney Tunes to you? How she do it? And I have come up with a plan to shield the garden. If His Majesty requires time to to bathe in the moonlight without his garments, we can. They're trying to tell you that they're okay with how he is. Her Majesty. She is in a state I have never seen before. Reynolds, I fear the Queen teeters on disaster. Now you give me nothing. You tell me nothing but lies. I ask your help and you refuse to treat me like a partner or equal. So I cannot bad. help you. The girls and the boys. The girls and the boys got a lot going on. You need to go in there and slap some sense to George or some boy. Do something. Again. You can't keep standing by letting this happen. What are you not doing? Flushing them? Let me stop. You probably not dipping the boy in the ice? Like he's a goddamn tea bag or something. I am the king's man. Yeah! King. You yeah! You are yeah! Not allowed. I am the king's That's man! That's what I'm talking I about. I will see the king! Stop this madness! Get him out of here! I got him! Damn. Damn, throw him like a goddamn rag dog. Again. Oh, you wouldn't know. You, I, you had the right idea. But the execution was just a little fuzzy. Yeah, she knows she ain't want it, girl. I be, I be walking around in sundresses, hair down. Let me stop there. I'll be looking at me like I'm crazy. But it all worked out in the end, so. I wonder how. I want to uh, apologize Don't for apologize, my uh, girl. You, yesterday. You I do hope and ain't nothing wrong with it, girl. You, you know, you a woman and you got needs, I guess. And I will not forget. Agatha, what do we know of one another? Really no, beyond pedigrees and widowhood. What any of the women of the town mm. know of true friendship? You opened yourself up to show me who you are. Mm -hmm. You told her something real. We are full of gossip and story. But as women, we are never the topics of the conversation. Right? Yesterday, you told me something of your story. Yep. Now tell her that you was about to mess with her daddy. Is that not her daddy she was about to mess with? I Trigger. want you to see an old work. One of my favorites. Huh. Aww. Theirs is a garden always mm. in bloom. I can't wait till they figure their shit out. We all have gardens, Violet. My garden did not die with my husband. It had never really it been... Never been planted. Right? It ain't never been, you know, yeah. It did not bloom until after he was gone. Mm. And when it did, I nurtured it. Lady Danbury was throwing that thing around town. I want to be gardened. I want to be gardened as much as possible. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm never going to look at a garden the same after this. I'm going to see a garden and think about Lady Danbury and, La and Lady Bridgerton. And I'm going to be like, wow. No. Let she it she die. Give 
Like she giving up. Don't give up, Charlotte. Well, obviously she didn't give up. You know, something gave. I wonder how he ended up getting out from under that man's thumb. You cannot leave. I know that. England. You mm -hmm. cannot leave England. You don't want her to go. go get I your man. You will be blamed. You shall remain here. Yeah, girl, go get your man. Come, scamp. It is just a neckerchief. You wear it then. <laughs> Oh. This is an important day and you must behave. Oh. She got to do what the white people do. If that child one years old and the daddy died, he the king. And your father has gone to the angels. And now you are the he man of no the family. He damn angels, girl. Let's not even play like that. The man of the family. Yes. And the family needs you to do your duty. His duty. At four years old. That's crazy. But she ain't got no tooth to fall in line with what the royal family doing, I guess. I thought it high time, your highness, that you met my son, Lord Danbury. Lovely to meet you, your highness. Aww. A pleasure to meet you, Lord. <clears throat> <gasps> the question of inheritance, far from decided. If y'all don't give up these titles, give everything that's supposed to go with them. Did I do my duty, mother? He showed them who you are. Mm -hmm. Son of Herman Danbury. And you are Lord Danbury. Yes, you are. You, and you will take you your gotta rightful be. place you because gotta be. you are entitled to it. Yep. You come from, from warriors. Mm. Yeah. We win. Never forget that. That one is too big for my head. Your birthday just passed, Brains. Oh, those the hats used to make. That was she get that idea to make hats from for her daddy. She said she used to make hats for Lord Bridgerton. Are you making a hat maybe you're right. for Lady Danbury? It may be wrong for my friend. No, you have to give it. Oh, because her birthday coming up. Okay. Aw. Oh, I guess. Oh, I guess that's sweet. I guess, I mean, she got a... What yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Coral, did she say why she's here? Her Majesty does not have to explain herself. Oh! Charlotte there. Your I Majesty. thought she was going to find that boy. I thought she was going to find George. To what do I owe the pleasure? I am here to offer my official condolences, of course. Sorrows. Prayers. <laughs> she be saying that now. Sorrows. Prayers. She is going through it. Poor her. Oh gosh, it's hard to see Charlotte cry because I know she's so strong. I have left that place and I am never, never, never going back. Where you going? Why, I, I have come here. Oh, stay with her for a bit? She means to stay. Stay? What an honor. No, not an honor. Terrifying. She's with a child, a bit of royal. Child, she quite literally contains the future of the British Empire. I cannot be responsible for her. Mm. She must remain perfect. Plus, I would be harboring it. A fugitive, right? She even ran away from the the so royal I'm family, girl, and with a baby in your stomach, Charlotte. Yeah, that's day baby, baby. That's day baby. Our duties are discharged with the utmost care, sir. I should have thought foremost among them would be not losing your queen. My duties <laughs> are to her majesty, not to you. Exactly, Brantley. Talk to him. Because he taking care of your sister more than you is. Her majesty's circumstances are quite well known to me, and I am perfectly capable of handling them. If querulous foreigners would stay out of my way. And my apologies. Exactly. You better apologize, ho. A carriage at once. Yes, sir. Me too, baby, but... Excuse me, mm -hmm. Your Majesty. All I can say is that I have been lied to and betrayed by everyone in this country but you. Aww. You are my only friend. Aww. You got Bramsley? I am not your friend. What? I want to be. However, at this moment, I am purely your subject. If we are to be friends, we need to start again. Because I very much need a friend too. Okay, aww. This is not the life I wished for. If we are ever to live the lives we want, 
We have to make them concede. Mm, gotta take it. Our bravery, our force of will, will be their proof. Yes, girl. May I thank you too, Lady Danbury, for your Shut discretion the fuck up. and your grace. Anything for Her Majesty. I just don't like him either, or his, I don't like him or his teeth, and that's personal, but whatever. Now you're going to get your man? Just go in there and get him, girl. Snatch him by the back of his head and drag him home if you got to. George will take his ass back to that castle with you, and I ain't playing. Mother. No. Whatever impertinence, whatever evasion, smother it. Your long boyhood is over. In an hour, you will be a husband. Afraid of what? That I will not be able to love her. Mm. What's love got to do with it? Is, is she making them do what women have to do there all the time. Just get randomly married to somebody and love ain't got nothing to do with it. You take someone in marriage and you choose to love them. You do not give yourself any other option. Because marriage is difficult. Full of pains. And the life of a royal is lonely. Mm -hmm. It seems so too. It seems so. They pretty women. Y'all can fall for it. I don't know if I was Charlotte. I'd be trying to get my sons to marry black women. But that's just me though. That's just me. We, we gonna bring some color to this bloodline. We ain't gonna wash it out. But that's just me. They probably would let her do it. Whatever. In time, you will grow to love your noble responsibilities well, and actual outgrowth of your Ugh. noble character. And these youthful fits will become mere embarrassing memories. Where are you off to now? To go you get George. You told me George. off to be the Queen of England. I'm off to be the Queen of England. Period. Period. I know she's gonna go bust down up in there. Pregnant and all. How dare you show up to a lady's house unannounced? Where everybody can see. But she said she 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 bloomed her garden. So she was doing it with somebody. I was not sure when exactly your birthday was, but I did not want it to pass without celebration. Aw. That's sweet. I give it to him. You cannot come in. This uh, this part of me is no so in. much more passionate if he looked better. I can't get past the outer, like, yeah. Like, if this was George, I'd be feeling it. I'd be like, yeah. Or Simon, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what she gonna get later, Danry. That's what she gonna get later, Danry. Shonda Rhimes. And she still got that hat after all these years, doesn't it? What if Lady, oh my God, what if Lady Bridgerton find that hat and be like, how you get one of these? My dad used to make hats just like. <laughs> Where is the king? I am so sorry, Your Majesty, but the king cannot see you now. No, no too bad. So. Take me to him. Too bad. Your Majesty. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. She, 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 the, she the queen. Y'all gotta let her in there. Y'all gotta let her in there. Now show me to him, or I shall have my men search the entire palace. What? What? Yeah. 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 Hot calls? What is what? I'm Ty the King! Ooh, don't scream too much, girl. You a child now. But I get it. The passion. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, look glad. George? Look, George, it is me. See, this is making her more crazy. <sighs> come back to me. Please, George, yeah. come back. Come on, George, you in there, former George. Say it, good. Say former George. That'll probably snap and make in. I am Charlotte. This is our child. And we need you to be George again. Or none of us are anyone. Wow. There we go, George. However distressing my methods are proven, I desire the king's sanity as fervently as your majesty. I does. care not for his sanity. I care for his happiness. I care for his soul. 
Let him be mad. You are finished. Remove him from the ground. Here is an error. An error that will destroy it. Be grateful I do not order you destroyed. Right? Girl, you better than me. I would have said off with this head right now. I will need my things packed. We are moving to Q. Just like that. Here. Uh, they really be together all the time now, right? She ain't here getting tossed on the bed. I'm glad she experienced that though. I'm glad she experienced that. I'm happy for Lady Denver. I'm glad she experienced. I'm. I've, that's what I wanted for her. So I'm glad she got it. The hat's still in good condition after all these years. That's who she was scrattling. That's taking her back. Okay, we're recording. <sighs> okay, y'all. I just finished season one, episode five of Queen Charlotte. And that was a doozy. That was a lie. A lot went on. A lot went on. But okay, so I can narrow it down. Because I feel like I just be talking in circles. Let me just name a topic and go off there let's just go with let's just talk about charlotte and george right now okay charlotte's pregnant 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 like she's pregnant i like i said i had my theory that the doctor was lying just to get george to snap again but he wasn't charlotte is pregnant she's pregnant she she's pregnant she's pregnant she's having the first royal baby okay so let's unpack let's unpack charlotte enjoy so you know of course on last episode george overheard charlotte talking to his mama about him being mad or whatever so that made him want to go back to that goddamn doctor and get scrapped back in the chair and get tortured again but oh my god they i don't think they never really said i could have been talking over it but they never really said how long it had been since the last what happened on the end of the last episode until now but between then and now Charlotte was showing, so it had to be about five, six months, right? I ain't never been pregnant before, so I don't know. But yeah, cause some people don't even show to like the third or fourth month, but she was showing, so it had to be like five, six, seven months that he was in queue, getting tortured, trying to get himself ready for her. But but then again, he wasn't the come. But then again, he was staying away from her. I, I think if George was going to decide to do that, he could have still been answering them letters. But I don't blame him because uh, that doctor wasn't giving him them letters. So that's not his fault. The doctor was saying he wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. But I feel like he, but like I said, that seemed to be driving him more insane because I feel like he still should have been in his mind. Like he should be communicating with Charlotte some way or what but he wasn't communicating with her at all so of course she's sitting in that house and she's sad as fuck and she lonely and she want to go back home she don't want to be there no more but like i said it seemed she wasn't getting the magnitude of the situation girl you're pregnant with a royal baby they're not about to just let you leave about it here you're that baby in your stomach although you are carrying it that baby belongs to the royal family this day baby at this point so girl you cannot just leave but i i get she uh i say that they use charlotte like a pun like she found out about her brother he traded her for i guess safety he needed the royal empire to keep wherever they from safe so he traded her for that so they treat charlotte like she a pun like she just she not a person she just a pun in 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 this time that's basically what she is she's really just a pun she's not her own person so i can get why she is but she at the at the same time she got real feelings and she's a fucking person so of course she'll be feeling like i don't want to be here no more so i get that i totally understand that so she ended up leaving and going to lady damry place and i'm which is i don't know she ended up leaving and going to Lady Damon place because she she ain't want to be there no more. Which is understandable. She just in that house and she's lonely and George is just not there. And on top of that, his mama move in, just waiting for the baby to be born. Like who want to be sitting around George mama all day every day like that? I'd be trying to flee the country too. Like that's wow. But at the end, she went and got George. Like I knew she was gonna do. She went and got George. So I'm so happy for that. And at this point, she 
accepts him for who she is like she said she don't care about him being mad she basically just want him to be happy she care about his happiness she don't care about him being the same she just want him to be happy shout out to charlotte i love her for that she went and got her man at the end i love that for her. i love that for her so that's good so that's basically how they little thing ended so we're gonna move on to lady fucking danbury first of all i'm not tripping right that's Violet's daddy she just messed with. Does Violet ever find out about that? Then now this got me questioning the age difference between Violet and uh Lady Dan because they're like best friends now, but they're older, right? So how much older is Lady Danbury than Lady Bridgerton? I feel like in the flashbacks, right? Lady Danbury like she could be in her early twenties. I'll give about 23, 24, right? I give about that. I give her that. But Violet look about 16. 16. I give I give Violet 16. So I'ma say that Lady Danbury probably got a good six years, six, seven years on Lady Bridgerton, right? But she's messing with her daddy in the back in the daytime. She's messing with Violet's daddy. Like, that's the point to the plot. Is Violet ever I'm Violet ever gonna find out about that? She gonna find that head or something? We can't just let that slip through the cracks. Cause Lady Danbury is literally humping on Lady Bridgerton's daddy back in the day, and he married to her mama, and her mama is still very much alive, right? And they ladies in waiting together, so that's important. That's important. But let's let's put a pin in it. So we go to Lady Danbury. Lord Danbury didn't die, so everybody title is at risk because this is the first time anything ever happened like this to them because they wasn't lord and lady danbury until the royal family gave them that title so that's my thing like why well, give out titles and you're not trying to give people the stuff that come with the titles so in the royal family let's say george's daddy died but george only five years old at that point george is like he's the king they do that though he's the king at that point like he's the next king they raised him to be the next king but when lord danbury died lady danbury wasn't sure that her four-year-old son was gonna be raised as the next lord danbury because they gave him them titles but they still unclear on what come with those titles so but obviously they end up getting what came with the titles because she still lady danbury to this day so that's good but then we found out lord danbury was lying about being rich as rich as he said he was but look at him of course he's lying about shit like that oh and i can't believe that she had been raised to be his wife since she was three years old who in their right mind is raising their three-year-old who looks at their three-year-old daughter and promised them to somebody in lord Derby had to be grown as fuck when he knew that hit that little three-year-old girl was gonna be his wife in the future what that's nasty as fuck that's nasty but and then let's take the pen out of that situation i gave uh lady lady bridge and the dad a lot of flack because like i said you know maybe i shouldn't have been worried too much on how he looked but it's like damn if lady damry was gonna let loose and get wild with somebody i want her to get wild with somebody that's kind of like george Simon, like why she had to get the old white man that's all i'm saying like she could have got or like i said he he could be old but he could well let me get off this man looks let's let's not make let's stop being shallow i'm being shallow right now and i apologize i'm being shallow that's not even me i'm just saying but i'm glad that lady danbury got to experience her garden being bloomed like the girl said lady lady which reminds me lady bridgerton hot in the pants but I, but you know oh yeah but this back up in that day you know you marry a man he died that's it for you you're not supposed to look at touch it or think about another man so i see i see i joked a lot about it but i see lord i see lady bridgerton's predicament you know back up but if i'm if you are uh, man back up in the day and your wife died you could just go on to get freaking fracky with anybody but if you a lady, you're supposed to just mourn your husband and that's it. Nothing else for you after that. That's crazy. So no wonder why the girls are hot and bothered and they garden needs to be bloomed. And I hope Lady Bridgerton Garden be bloomed one day or she can bloom it herself, you know? Yeah. 
so this episode didn't end bad so that's good so oh yeah i'm gonna end the video here i've already done too much talking and i hope i like put it in points because i noticed i just been i be talking all around i be talking all around like i be talking about one thing then something else will remind me of something else and i start talking about that thing then i forget the first thing i was talking about because i've been talking about the second thing too much so so that's why I got to name people in Snicta or I'm, I'm just going to be rambling all over the place. But anyway, if you made it this far, thanks for being here. You ain't got to be here, but you are. That's amazing. You are amazing. I'll be seeing y'all in the last episode of Queen Charlotte soon. So, yeah. Bye.